Welcome to our Band in a Box for Windows chord entry tutorial. We will start this video off by going over chord types. To enter a chord, just type the root followed by the extension and hit enter. The easiest example would be a major triad, which can be typed with just the root and no extension. For example, just type C, enter or F, enter. And this implies major. For a minor triad, just type M as the extension. So for example, type D, M, enter. You can see what you are typing as you type into the chord sheet. And if what you have typed disappears when you press enter, you may have made a mistake when typing it, or it might not be on the list of supported chords. If so, there is likely just another way of typing it. For example, if you were to type a minor major seventh chord like this, it will not be accepted. But a minor major chord is supported by Band in a Box, but it is entered like this. Chord entry is not case sensitive, so you do not need to worry about capital letters. For example, just typing MAJ without capitalizing the M will be recognized. If you want a flat root, just type B. And if you want a sharp root, just use the sharp symbol. For convenience, you can also just type 3 without holding shift, and Band in a Box will recognize this as a sharp symbol. Also, if you prefer to think of intervals relative to the key of the song, you can just use numbers or Roman numerals for the chord roots. For example, you can just type C, A, M, F, G7, but you also get the same result by typing 1, 6M, 4, 5, 7. Or in Roman numerals, that would be I, V, I, M, I, V, V7. Now, let's check out chord rhythms. You can now enter up to four chords per beat with the microchords feature for styles with a 4 4 time signature, but we will start with just one chord per beat and go over microchords afterwards. Every time you press enter, Band in a Box will skip forward two beats. So if you want to enter more than two chords per bar, you will need to use a comma. For example, if we enter C, press enter, then F, comma, G, enter, this puts chords on beats 1, 3, and 4. If you would like a chord on beat 4, but not beat 3, just type nothing before the comma. So for example, comma, G, enter. That places the chord on beat 4 with nothing on beat 3. We can put chords on all four beats of the bar like this, or just have two chords per bar like this. You can also indicate pushes with the caret symbol. Entering a caret before the root tells Band in a Box to play the chord in eighth note before the beat. If you use two carats before the root, then that chord will play a sixteenth note before the beat. Note that if you are using a swing style, a single carat will do the same as a double carat. Either will push the chord by a triplet. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that you can actually enter four chords per beat. This can be typed directly into the chord sheet, but can also be done in the microchords dialog. You can access this dialog by right clicking on the chord sheet and choosing microchords settings. But you can also open the dialog by just typing M into the chord sheet and pressing enter. As you can see, there are lots of options in this dialog. For example, we can set motifs and we can exclude tracks from following the microchords. But since this particular video is focused on chord entry, I will just show you how to enter microchords. Now you can see right here up in the top, it shows you what bar we currently have selected. And you can see we have our four beats for the selected bar all laid out here. Each beat has four cells so you can enter chords on the eighth and sixteenth notes. So for example, if I enter C and then D minor in beat one, and then on beat three enter C, D minor, E minor, D minor, and then click OK. You can now see I have two chords on the eighth notes in beat one and four chords on the sixteenth notes of beat three. You can also enter microchords directly into the chord sheet by using parentheses. So we will just enter the same thing we entered in the bars above. So we could type parentheses, 
C, comma, D minor, parentheses. And in this case, the comma is within the parentheses, so it divides the 16th notes rather than the four beats like it does outside of the parentheses. So to demonstrate this, instead of entering the four chords on beat three, I'll enter them on beat two to show you the two different uses of the comma. So first we'll just type in exactly the same thing. Parentheses, C, comma, D minor, parentheses, then another comma to separate beat one and two, parentheses, C, comma, D minor, comma, E minor, comma, D minor, parentheses, then press enter. And as you can see, we have the same as we had above, except the four chords on the 16th notes are now on beat two. This can be a lot to remember, so I will point out that if you go back to the microchords dialog, we can see right here where it says chord sheet, it displays how to enter the microchords that are set above into the chord sheet. So you can begin with entering chords from the dialog and learn how to enter them into the chord sheet manually at the same time. For a more in-depth tutorial on using the entire microchords dialog, check out our Band in a Box bootcamp video that will be linked below in the description. Also, another great way to enter chords in Band in a Box is by using the Chord Builder, which allows you to preview each chord before adding them to the chord sheet. For more information on the Chord Builder, please check out the Chord Builder tutorial, which I will also link in this video description below. We hope you liked our Band in a Box for Windows chord entry video. Thanks for watching and have fun.